over the years I've been uh, thinking about how to possibly measure sharpness. Uh, obviously we as bow hunters we try to have the sharpest blade we can on our broadhead but uh, I always wondered how sharp is sharp? How do we measure that? And uh, I'm obviously not the sharpest knife in the drawer but I sat around thinking about it uh, for a couple of days and, and kind of laid out a little uh, thought process on how I could evaluate this. First of all, sharpness generally is subjective. If uh, something uh, feels sharp to us, we say it's as sharp as a razor or it's uh, scary sharp or uh, or some kind of uh, uh, description in which we could shave with it, it's shaving sharp, etc., etc. But it's really not uh, a very accurate way. It's subjective. It feels sharp. We pull it across our nail. Uh, we cut paper with it very easily. Uh, and it's, it's kind of a matter of opinion. It's subjective. But objectively speaking, how can we measure sharpness? How can we actually put a number on it? That's what I scratched my head on. And I thought about a couple of ideas. One is, uh, how do we measure uh, sharpness? Let's say in this knife, this is an old case uh, knife. Uh, if we were to take a small piece of rope and uh, fold it in half and cut it and kind of get a feeling for how sharp the blade was, we'd have a pretty good idea of how sharp it is. We'll cut right through that uh, nylon rope very easily, but how much pressure did it take to cut the blade, uh, the, the rope? So that's what I what I've been uh, kind of trying to figure out how to figure that out, how to measure it. And uh, also what I thought about is uh, how we cut, dynamic and static. <clears throat> if we have a blade that's uh, not very sharp, what we do in it is we simply saw through it or slice through it, slice, 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 and then we, we cut it. It's a dynamic cut. That's the way broadheads work, they slice. But the real test of sharpness, in my opinion, is static sharp. Uh, not slicing, just simply uh, pulling straight through, putting the uh, cutting material, whatever you want, on the blade, and just pulling through. That's a better indication of sharpness than the sawing slicing, in my opinion. So, consequently, if it's static sharp, it's much, much sharper than just simply dynamic sharpness. Just by the simple fact that dynamic sharpness is a cutting, sawing motion, static sharpness straight through. When we shave a whisker off our face, uh, we use a static uh, uh, method of shaving. In other words, the blade goes straight down. We, we don't saw uh, with it. So consequently, a razor that we shave our face with is extremely sharp, it is statically sharp rather than just simply sharp enough dynamic sharp. So what I'm trying to explain here is uh, what we want to do, how to measure sharpness, we want to do it objectively, try to put a number on it, if possible, like a number on the hardness of steel, the Rockwell scale. And also, let's try to measure sharpness that is static rather than dynamic. So. Uh, getting back to you know pulling the knife through, how much pressure does it take to pull a knife through to cut a a, uh, a rope? Well, came up with the idea of uh, of the uh, standard fishing scale. Uh, you've seen them; they have them on boats for measuring how big a catfish or a bass is. You just simply uh, put the hook in the fish's mouth. Gravity pulls down; the fish's weight pulls down, and it reads in so many pounds. So I took that idea and actually uh, found something on the internet that's a kind of a high-tech fishing scale. It's called a Pisola. It's made in, uh, I believe, Norway. It basically is the same concept of, uh, of a spring scale. Uh, it, since it's made in Europe, it's in grams rather than grains, but it's easily converted into grains. And just simply by the uh, Instead of gravity, what we're going to do is apply pressure 
to a uh, material we're going to cut and then the moment it pops through we can measure on that very fine scale how many grains of pressure it took pulling down to cut a uh, certain object. Well, it would be pretty hard to cut rope with a broadhead and get any kind of meaningful uh, numbers on it. So what I've simply done is, uh, is come up with a, uh, a smaller version of the rope, some cotton thread. And uh, so we've got a cotton thread, I've got it tied in a loop, and what we do is put it on the scale like such, okay? You can see the numbers, and we just simply put the blade that we intend to measure, and as we pull down on the blade, it pulls down on the scale, and it cuts the thread, and wherever a uh, loop I've made of cotton thread, and as uh, we pull down on the loop of thread, you can see the scale indicator move down, okay? I don't know if you can see that on here, but the moment the cutting blade cuts the thread, I would mark on the scale the breaking point or the cutting point. That would be a, a static uh, cut with the blade um, rather than a sewing blade. So essentially what we would do is this. We've got, the, we've got it this way. We simply put a blade in here and start putting pressure on the blade and watching the scale watching the scale, watching, and the moment it cuts the thread we will mark on the scale how many grains of pressure it took to cut that thread. But what I tried to do to make it as accurate as possible is to uh, cut ten pieces of thread on each blade and also when I uh, would uh, measure the cut instead of putting the thread on one part of the blade each time, I would move it so you had a different uh, area that possibly couldn't be dulled by the thread or was less sharp. It'd come up with an average. So I would do it ten times with ten loops of thread. And then I would throw the top number out and the bottom number and then take the middle eight numbers. You know, uh, it could be anywhere from uh, uh, ten grains of pressure to twenty and come up with an average. And uh, let's say the average, of course, is, is 15. It would take 15 grains of pressure for this blade to cut that thread uh, consistently. So I can actually put a objective number on how sharp this blade is. Follow me on that? So uh, subjective and also, since we're not sewing, we're going to have a static cutting pressure. Probably uh, as accurate as I can find. I looked at one on the internet uh, several months ago and they actually had a uh, very sophisticated expensive machine that would saw a rubber tube and uh, they would measure how long it took to cut through the tube and how much pressure it took but what it was was uh, a dynamic cut and I don't think that's as accurate as a static cut. But anyway, that's my uh, opinion on it. So what I uh, have come up with is a way of holding the blade. And what I've simply have done is uh, taken a, uh, a vice grip needle nose pliers and uh, JB welded them to a top of a, a three-quarter inch square aluminum rod. I got it welded to it. And what you just simply do then is take whatever blade, let's take this broadhead, and clamp it in and now what we can do is put the thread over the blade put the scale below it and pull down and the moment the blade cuts the thread mark that number do it ten times come up with an average and put a number on this particular blade uh, how many grains it, uh, it took and what we can do is uh, measure a number of different cutting blades uh, something uh, like a razor blade, I even have scalpel blades, uh, broadheads, uh, here's one, obsidian. An obsidian 
replica of a, an Indian uh, arrowhead. And supposedly, uh, obsidian stone is some of the sharpest material available. We'll find out. So uh, we can measure knives, broadheads, uh, pen knives, uh, scalpels, and uh, any type of cutting edge, whether it's a single bevel or a double bevel, and measure the cutting pressure, and then come up with uh, some type of numbers. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But uh, um, in this next sequence, I'll explain uh, some of the sharper blades versus some of the duller blades. I was surprised. Uh, we've measured uh, uh, everything from obsidian stone chips to scalpel blades. And uh, they come up with an objective number on how sharp sharp so is. So I've got my jig set up, the aluminum rod, the vice grip holding, and in this case uh, just a simple industrial razor blade. And I have a loop of thread, and I use a consistent 100% cotton thread. Uh, it's about as consistent as we can get. And as I said, I do about 10 cuts per blade to come up with an average. Very unscientific, but it's the best we can do. So what I'm going to do is just simply put the loop of thread over the blade. And I've got a little hook on my scale. And I'm going to place the scale on the, uh, on the thread. And I'm going to pull down. I'm going to get a close-up of this next sequence for you. Okay, as I pull down on this scale, you'll see the indicator dial, not a dial, but a pen here, and it's again in grams, we'll convert that to grains. So we're just going to start pulling down slightly in the moment. There's 50 grams, 60, 70, 80. It cut the thread at 80 grams of pressure. We'll do that 10 times, throw out the top number, bottom number, average the 8, and come up with a number on how sharp that blade is from a static cut. Well, anyway, as they say, uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, during the next uh, several weeks, what I'll try to do is come up with numbers on broadheads such as our own line of one-piece heads, our, our two-piece heads and uh, obsidian heads and uh, probably uh, above all the competitors heads such as this uh, seal force fat head. How sharp is that? Uh, is it as truly sharp as they claim? Is it scary sharp? Is it sharp enough where it's bad to the bone or whatever? We'll try to put a number on all the different blades including ours. It might be an eye-opener to us to, uh, to take a look at the standard. Right now, in my preliminary testing, the sharpest blade on a static cut was a scalpel blade. And that surprised me. I thought it was going to be the obsidian. Because I had always read that an obsidian chip blade is the sharpest blade uh, there is. Yeah, they even do eye surgery with it. Uh, I think that's a myth, an urban legend as such. Haven't found anything on the internet, at least the company that makes obsidian blades for ocular surgery, but uh, I was surprised it isn't as sharp as the uh, surgical scalpel blade. So anyway, I'll do a follow-up with some more uh, testing and numbers in the future. I hope you found this video interesting. Like I say, I'm not the sharpest uh, uh, knife in the drawer, but it just seems to be uh, a uh, rather simple but logical way of uh, putting an objective number on how sharp sharp really is. Anyway, thanks for watching.